guys, it's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and today I'm showing you how to make smoked pork chops. So simple, it probably doesn't need a recipe, but you're gonna wanna stick around for all of the tips and tricks that are gonna make these the best pork chops you have ever had. Let's do it. Today we are starting out with pork chops. These are bone-in pork chops, just over an inch thick, and they are absolutely beautiful. So this recipe starts with picking out the perfect pork chops. These work with either bone-in rib chops or center cut loin chops. It's really up to you and what you like. Center cut loin chops tend to be a little bit more lean. They're all that lighter white meat. The rib chops tend to have a little bit more fat, a little bit more flavor, and some of that darker pork meat. So it's really up to you and what your family prefers. When you're picking out chops at the store, it's a little bit different because pork doesn't have a grading system like beef. So you're not looking at choice, select, prime, etc. You really have to use your eyes when you're buying pork at the store. And the most important thing to look for is color. You don't want any gray chops. You really want a nice rosy pink in the light meat or a really rich reddish color in the dark meat. And you definitely want to look for those little white flecks of fat inside the muscle because that means flavor and moisture and nobody wants dry, boring chops. We want juicy, flavorful chops. So start with the right meat. It's gonna set everything off on the right foot. Next up, we gotta season our pork chops. We're keeping these very simple because we want the pork to shine through and we want that yummy smoke flavor to shine through. So I'm just drizzling these with a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna help our seasoning stick, but also because we're smoking at a low temperature, this will help the outside of the pork chops from drying out and getting leathery and chewy. It'll keep everything nice and moist on the smoker. With my dry hand, I'm gonna grab my seasoning. I'm using my signature sweet rub here. This is a classic barbecue seasoning and I think it pairs perfectly with both pork and the smoke that's gonna hit these later because remember, we do treat smoke like an ingredient. So you wanna make sure that your rub is gonna work well with the smoke and the meat. And I think the sweet rub is perfect for that. If you don't want to pick up a bottle from my store online, I do have the recipe so you can actually make this yourself or you can use your favorite barbecue seasoning. How do you feel about that camera work? I feel like you got in there real tight. So I hope you got some good, some goods. Like this. Some good goods. Yep, so tight. Our pork chops are seasoned. We're gonna heat our smoker up to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna be using apple wood today because I think apple and pork is this beautifully perfect and delicious combo. But any fruit, wor any fruit wood works great with these particular pork chops. Maple and pecan are also a great smoke to use for pork. These are gonna run at 225 degrees. Like I said, we're using that low temperature because pork is lean and we want the internal temperature of these chops to rise nice and slow. It'll keep all of that moisture inside of the meat. You can plan on these taking about 60 to 90 minutes. Just depends on how thick your chops are. Close the lid. We'll peek on these in about 60 minutes. Our chops have been on for about an hour. That means it's time for us to check our temperature. Grab your favorite internal thermometer. And let's see what we've got here. All right, we're sitting at about 135, just over 135. And that's perfect. Remember, we're shooting for a target temperature of 145. So right now you have a few options. We can just close the lid, let these finish cooking to 145, or we can add a little bit of flavor right here at the end. And it's completely up to you based on what you like to eat. So one of my favorite things is to do a glaze, either with your favorite barbecue sauce. That one has a magical lid. <laughs> I forgot I already opened this. This is my maple bourbon grilling glaze, maple bourbon pork chops. It's like this perfect little marriage. So I'm gonna baste a couple of these with the grilling glaze and that can tighten up during these last 10 degrees on the smoker. This smells amazing. 
I'm also really digging the color of this glaze on there with the smoke and the sweet rub. That is a beautiful thing. So we've got our glazed chops, we've got our plain chops, and I wanna introduce you to the third option for these smoked pork chops, which is a reverse sear. That means raised low and slow in temperature on the smoker. We're gonna take it off the smoker and we're gonna pop it into a really hot cast iron skillet to get that nice crispy sear on the outside. You can also do this on like a really high temperature gas grill, but this is a method that'll keep that dry rub flavor, but really caramelize the sugars on the outside and give you a nice crispy, crunchy crust. And then just set your pork chop right in the pan. This will take probably two to three minutes per side. Just stand here and bask in how good this smells. Oh, we're close. All right, this pork chop is perfect. We're gonna pull it off onto our cutting board, let it rest, and then let's check on the other ones on the smoker. All right, checking the temp on the rest of our chops. We're sitting pretty right at about 145. That means these get to come off and rest. I've got the maple bourbon glazed chops next to the crispy seared chop. And then I'll slide our classic smoked pork chop right on the back. And this one was just straight smoked, but aren't they all so pretty? Do it for the gram, Sue. I, sometimes you just have to take pictures when things look this good. All right, these are off. I'm just gonna pop a piece of foil on top. Don't wrap it tight, just a nice little tent. And we're gonna let them rest for about five to 10 minutes before I get to eat them. Pork chops have rested, that means I get to try them now, which is always my favorite part. Problem is I have to decide which one to eat. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the reverse here because it's in the front and because I love me a crispy edge. <gasps> Look at how juicy this pork chop is. Mm-hmm. Mm oh my goodness. That is a dang delicious pork chop. You guys, all it is is sweet rub and smoke. That's all, that's all you need for an absolutely delicious pork chop. Okay, now I have to eat some with the maple bourbon glaze on it. Oh, can you see the smoke ring? See if you can get this, Tom. Put the smoke on that pork chop. Pink on the outside, doesn't mean it's not done. It means it's smoky and delicious and delectable and juicy. Mm. Do you want to try a bite? You need to come try a bite. Okay, come here. I'm going to give you some maple bourbon glazed bite. Because that bite was freaking phenomenal. Here. Oh, give me the camera. I'll hold it for you. This is maple bourbon? This is maple bourbon glaze. There is a smoke. Sweet there. rub. Tons of smoke in there. Mmm. Serious. Those are so good! Done. Guys. Simple sometimes is the absolute best. Goodness. All right, give it back to me. Give it back to me. I have more to say. <laughs> I hope you guys give this recipe for smoked pork chops at home. And I hope you make it your own with one of the three variations that I talked about today. All of them are absolutely delicious and sure to be a hit at your dinner table. If you cook these, use the hashtag hey girl hey. That way, I can see them and cheer you on because at Hey Grill Hey, my whole goal is to help you make better barbecues. So you can feed the people you love and be a backyard barbecue hero. I wanna be able to cheer you on on that journey. So make sure to tag us so I can see what you're smoking up at home. We'll see you next time. Tell me something about this smoke. It smells so good. Have you guys ever had your mouth start watering when you smell smoke? It's not even like, the finished food, it's literally just the smoke and my mouth is already watering because it smells so good. Go stick your face in there. Mm, my hair's gonna smell like it later. It's my new perfume. <laughs>